hey y'all what's up welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to show you guys in full detail in real time how i grip short hair for knotless braids whoever told you that if your hair isn't longer than three inches that you can't get knotless braids it's a lie baby because there are people that know how to grip short hair for any type of braids okay and i'm one of those people i'm really really good at gripping short of hair so yes if you want to see me do that in detail then go ahead and continue watching and do not forget to subscribe y'all y'all be watching my stuff but don't be subscribing i see y'all okay so make sure you show some love to my channel and subscribe all right y'all so i'm using the softy hair moisturizer to moisturize her hair i used to use the blue blue magic i feel like this moisturized way better and a lot of times i just literally just put it on the ends of the hair and on the hair but not on like the scalp or anything like that it's pretty much all a petroleum based product so it usually just seals in the ends and makes it not dry but you know it's not really a moisturizing agent you know what i'm saying so i just use that to seal in you know the hair to seal the ends to prevent it from breaking and to provide some moisturization on the ends okay but don't use it by itself just think it's going to super moisturize your hair it just provide a coating okay to prevent breakage that's all it does so i like to use a shining jam of course you guys know i use that i do not use let's jam that is a very greasy product and it literally turns to grease in like 30 seconds i hate it so do not get it okay get shine and jam and also edge control can work i don't necessarily like to use it because it's not enough product you don't get enough bang for your butt with edge control okay just kind of stick with edge control for edges okay so yeah um and the link to the the products that i use will be in the description box below okay so what i like to do is even though her hair is short i personally i'm pretty good with gripping so it works for me now they have super short hair like throughout the hair and you like not really good at gripping don't put too much shine and jam on the roots because it's going to cause it to be slippery okay but like i said i'm pretty good at gripping even with knotless braids even short hair so it works for me because i just like a more tamed root look okay so basically she wanted the diamond parts or the half moon parts for the knotless braids because she wanted her knotless braids to be more on the fuller side and when you part it that way you are able to fit more braids in between each other braid you get what i'm saying you're able to fit more braids in the surface area that you're given okay when you do box parting you're more so limited with the spacing but when it comes to these parts that i'm doing it provides you more surface area to provide more braids on top of each other okay so when it comes to the back of her hair that's the part that is short so that is the only part that i'm going to show you guys okay um i like to get little pieces of hair that is laid out on my braiding rack okay now let me just go ahead and tell you guys these are my nails okay what i did was i got a a overlay an acrylic overlay okay no tips just acrylic on top of my nails to provide that barrier and then i got gel polish okay you can get just gel polish or you can get you know the overlay in the gel polish so i like to get the overlay in the gel polish because it provides more like an acrylic look even though it's not acrylic okay so these don't have any tips these are not fake nails okay i just want to go ahead and give you guys a disclaimer also i always get round nails either there's coffin no, I should throw in coffin because that's not round. What am I talking about? Okay. But I get the rounded nails, either that or I get more of a, like a oval shape or a round shape. Okay. I don't get square and I don't get coffin because it just doesn't flow right when I braid and get my nail gets stuck in the hair and it's just, it's harder to braid that way. So I tend to get the same style. Now, when it comes to gripping, short hair okay i'm just going to give you guys a few pointers okay you are going going to want to keep your hand almost in the same spot okay for like three times that you add hair in because doing this will allow make sure that the hair doesn't slide down it will make sure and ensure that you are able to grip the hair better the roots okay the roots so make sure if you move your hand, there is a possibility that it may slip, okay? And you will have to keep starting and you're going to figure out why it's not staying. It's because you're moving your hand when you're braiding. Keep 
your hands steady, but move your fingers, okay? Move your fingers to braid, but keep your hand in the same spot. That way you are gripping and keep the grip on points. Y'all get what I'm saying? Okay. That is literally the key. You can see how tight it looks. It's not even tight. I do not braid tight, okay? Everybody says I'm very light-handed with my braids, okay? But it looks like it's gripped very tight, even though it is not. So that is literally one of the keys. I like to always, always start with their hair first. Now, if their hair is super short, so as you can see, her back middle, that piece right I'm doing right now, is short, but it's not as short as the piece to the left, right? So the piece that I'm braiding now, I started out with her hair two turns and then I started adding hair on the left side. I do not add hair on the left and then hit add hair on the right. I only add hair on my left side because I'm left-handed. It gives me more control. So I'll add hair on the left side, braid to the right, braid back to the left, add hair, braid to the right, braid back to the left, add hair. I just keep that same rhythm. When it comes to knotless braids, it's very important to keep the same rhythm, keep the same pattern of how you're doing things and don't switch it up because the braid will look lopsided. I've learned that this is probably my fourth time doing knotless braids, okay? So I'm getting better at them, you know, practice definitely makes perfect, okay? Also, these are waist length box braids. A lot of hair doesn't come waist length. Um, the hair that she got comes like lower back length. So I do add pieces throughout her braid, like in the middle of her braid to add length to make it fit waist length if you guys are confused about what i'm talking about i will link a video on how to do that in detail in the cards above and also in the description box below okay another thing i don't braid all the way to the end right now i braid to the end when i'm done okay or I break close to the end when i am done just to kind of allows me to move quicker at least in my head okay now these braids took me a good six and a half hours six no six seven hours about seven hours only because i had to keep stopping so if i would have just literally just kept going with no breaks i would have been done easily five and a half hours honestly five and a half no more than six hours that's how long it takes me to do lock i mean braids i'm sorry i'm talking about locks so yeah so as you can see it's the same concept okay you see i I keep my hand fixated in that gripping spot. I'm moving my fingers, but my hands are still remaining close to her scalp, okay? Like, my hands are still in the same position, even though I'm still adding hair. It's not sliding down towards her shaft, okay? Also, one of the things that I do is I put the shining jam on the palm, no, I'm sorry, on the back of my hands, and just... I use that just for the shine and gem is a smoother smoothing agent. So I like to use that to smooth out any flyaways or any hair that is unruly and then like apply it and then maybe use a comb and kind of distribute it and make it smooth and then continue braiding. That is very important to have your hair look presentable inside the braids and not have their hair look frizzy in the braids like the style is super old. Okay. All right, y'all. So I'm glad you guys are still watching. I hope you guys are learning something. <laughs> if you guys did notice that this braid, I did add hair from the very beginning. I did not start with her hair by itself, only because this is like a super, super short piece. If this piece was longer than this, then I still would start with her hair. But since this piece is really, really short, I started with a thin, thin, thin piece of braiding hair. All right, y'all, I hope y'all learned something in this video. I hope it was detailed enough for how to do knotless box braids on short hair. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment on this video, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, guys. Mwah. Say you don't like it when I get this drunk. We can do anything you like, yeah. We can be wild. Tell me, I'm telling me.
just images, 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 wow. Tell me I'm, tell me I'm wild. Tell me I'm wild.